What do you call a Walkman when it's not made by Sony? Well, you can't call it a Walkman, but this is a Panasonic portable personal cassette player. Auto reverse, very small, similar to a WMF100. Um, got a radio in it and an auto reverse cassette. And this one's got very high wand flutter. Let's see why. This is the Panasonic stereo cassette player, a model RQSX87V. It's an auto reverse. And this one actually used a separate battery. It had had a rechargeable battery, which I don't have for this. This was actually sent in by a viewer to look at. He's concerned that the uh, that the wild flutter is too high. But this one had an external battery pack that you could screw onto the side of it. And it was just held in place by a little screw. So you turned it on like that. And it would thread on and hold this external battery pack in place. Is it supposed to clip in there? Lock that way. There we go. So that made it a little bit larger, but of course, we give you extra runtime when the battery, when the internal battery went dead, by allowing you to load a single AA cell. The complaint on this, the fellow that bought it said that, uh, that the person that sold it had. Um, replaced all the belts on it, but he's complaining that it's got high wow and flutter and he wanted me to look at it and see whether it had the right belts in it. So let's uh, take a listen to this and we'll see how it sounds. I don't know about you, but that looks like there's a bunch of crud on those capstan shafts, doesn't it? Does that look like dirt? Sure looks like crud to me. Let's see if that'll clean off. Let's uh, put a tone in and hear how bad this is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. It almost sounds like the... Oh, uh, well, there's this... There's this crud on here. It, it, it almost feels like... It almost feels like tape oxide, but I don't know. It's not coming off, whatever it is. It's like a coating on the... Uh, on the capstans. If we want to get a look at this uh, tape mechanism operating because I can take out these two screws on either side and that should allow this to operate with the lid removed. That way I'll be able to see whether the tape is running true between the pinch roller and the capstan shafts.
Let's take a look at the capstan shaft spinning in slow motion. So the problem with this unit here, the, the fellow that sent it to me th thought maybe the belt was at fault, but it's actually not the belt, it's actually the, the pinch roller. There's virtually no torque. It, it doesn't take much. And if we listen to the reverse direction, it's much better. Let me just rewind that tape. You see, the reverse direction's not too bad, but as you can hear, the the forward direction has much higher wow and flutter than the reverse direction. Also, when I put some tension on the tape itself. There is, uh, I guess I'm, I cleaned this right, so I got a bit of, a little bit of fuzz from my Q-tip on around the capsule, but that's okay. It's not that's not causing the problem. Um, it's uh, there's much more slip. Like it is, I, I I barely have to touch the reel and it stops turning, so there's not as much torque. That points to the uh, rubber roller is worn on the side. And possibly even the uh, capstan shaft itself might even be slightly bent. You see these things got channels in them. If you look at this, the design of these ones, they actually have channels in them. I don't know why, but it's like a raised portion in the middle right there. That's where it's making contact with the tape. Same as on this one over here. There's a raised sleeve in the middle, and it only grips on one particular point. I guess the, the idea behind that is it. Instead of pulling on the full width of the tape, it just pulls on a very, very thin path right down the middle to try and maintain equal tape tension. I don't know what the what the reasoning for that is, but if you if you run your fingernail over here, there's a there's a groove. There's two grooves in these capstan shafts here. And uh, anyway, I cleaned it. But uh, it's more than just that. It's it could be a bent uh, capstan shaft here, or a bearing that's a little bit sloppy, and and or the worn pinch roller. I'm thinking worn pinch roller is probably the more likely. Let's see if I can turn this thing on. Wonder if I can get a slow mo of this. We'll try. We'll try getting a slow-mo of this with the camera and see whether we can see any irregularities. You can still see after cleaning that there's still some dirt in those channels, but look at the pinch roller as it's turning. It's it's not, like it's not true. It's got uh, some flat spots in it. We'll slow this down a little more. Yeah, there's still some dirt you can still see on that capstan shaft, so I'm going to try cleaning that up a little more and just see whether I can get that thing cleaner. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed that with... Uh, isopropyl and a, and a q-tip and that capstan shaft is just absolutely filthy so it may just be dirt but the pinch roller i think is also worn well just cleaning the unit has um just cleaning the unit has improved the wow and flutter substantially from what it was when i started if you remember how bad it was before. Much better.
needless to say though those uh those pinch rollers are are worn. You can see how shiny they are. That's the forward direction one. This one probably had more more hours on this one too than the reverse direction. If I put the tape in and play the reverse side. It doesn't take much to stop it. But the uh, forward direction is worse. There's not as much uh, torque on the tape. So I would say that So I would say to fix this thing properly, it's going to need both pinch rollers to be replaced. And the caption shafts are probably okay. They were just they were really caked in dirt. There was a lot of a lot of tape oxide that came off that when I cleaned it. I mean you could just scrape it with your fingernail and it would come out. You can see it you got some of it under my fingernail here. I'm just scraping this and I just cleaned it off with a Q-tip soaked in uh, isopropyl alcohol and it uh, it came off but um, uh, yeah there's always a lot of dirt on here but the, 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 ultimately the pinch rollers are worn. That's about all I can do on this. It's much better than when it came in but the parts for this are unavailable so anyway thanks for watching.